Good evening, sword friends. So, I got all my Wakazashi blades that I own laid out right here. Since there's only four of them, it'll make for a nice short video. I got like over two dozen katana, but I've only got four Wakazashis, which means I need more Wakazashi in my life. But it's not the point of this video. Just wanted to show you what I'm working with. We got my Chris Cutlery Wakazashi number four, the folded and laminated and differentially hardened one. It's in 9250 and 1095, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't looked at their site in ages. Has the nicest boshi of any of the swords in my collection. I mean, just look at that. That is just breathtaking. Pretty plain Jane Saya. Has horn. Shitadome that I actually stay in. This one didn't come with the Segeo, though. We're going to come back to that. Here we got the Hanway Raptor. Although I'm not a very big fan of the steel and the looks and stuff as far as like feeling in hand and practical usage this is the best wakazashi for that purpose i've ever come across it's perfectly balanced has that hirazakuri blade geometry that's just going to laser through whatever you put in front of her as long as your edge is lined up right man you're just like it's not even there it's typical thick but not too bad Hanway Suka. it's doable especially for use in the left hand 5160 so just definitely a good workhorse of a wakizashi and we got a more higher end Hanway offering but I bought this one was a factory second so I got her for exactly half price at the time and the only issues that they could potentially have had were issues with dingy Lucido. And yeah, I got some dingy Lucido, but I'm going to send her off to Adam. And I'm going to have her bleach, have him bleach the Edo. I think there's an Emperor node there. Really nice. I'm going to have him bleach the Edo, rewrap her, lacquer her, and give her a polish. And I'll get rid of that frosted Hanway Hamon and just have a nice natural Hamon. And I mean, this blade geometry does not lend itself well to trick cutting. I mean, don't get me wrong, she'll laser beam right through a noodle or a bottle or anything else you put in front of her. But the blade geometry is more made for uh, cutting flesh. But... It'll make a nice companion for a differentially hardened katana. And it is the longest of the wakazashi I own. And I mean, she's going to be really pretty once she's all done up. So I'm going to be sending her out pretty soon. So you'll have that to look forward to in the not too distant future. Saya came with the nicest Segeo I own. I love that Segeo. It's just beautiful. Koiguchi's well fit. Horn, horn, the Shitadome are actually in there, not going anywhere, so very, very nice, well-made katana, but you see those two um, pings in the back of the Habaki, if it's a factory second from the Hanway plant forge in Dalian, China, and they send it out as a and sell it as a factory second. It'll have those two punch holes in the habaki. And so that's something to look out for if you're buying swords off of say like Amazon or the secondhand market. Make sure when you get her, it's like say you pay full price, make sure there aren't two little pings in the back of the habaki there. Because that's just something they do to throw off the uh, scumbag sellers, which is a good thing in my opinion. And then last, but certainly not least, we have a custom James Raw Wakazashi blade. And he's got the file marks on the Nikago, the May. 
I believe it's a date, something else. I'm not familiar with exactly what they carve on there. But I mean, this is like, I mean, this was made one at a time with love and care and purpose. And as you can see, that Nicago is pretty long. That'll make for about a 10, 10 and a half inch suka, which means you'll be able to get two hands on this wakazashi. And that just opens up a world of possibilities. The blade is differentially hardened. I believe this one is in the EN45 steel that he usually works in. I know the katana I own from him is 5160. I'm pretty sure this is one of his EN45 ones. He's out of South Africa. And, I mean, look at the the width of that blade. I mean, this is a fairly wide here is a curry blade. And this one here is damn near just as wide. So that's going to make for a very fine cutter, I think. Especially with the two hands, that nice wide blade all the way up. I mean... Can't wait to have her done up. Realistically, I probably won't have that blade done up for about a year or so, but something to look forward to. So, that's about all I got for now. Thanks for uh, taking this trip down Wakazashi Lane with me, and thanks for watching. Have a good one.